Here again for the third annual League of End of Season dinner. Hey, hey. Thank you so many, hey, hey. so many for coming. I can see we've all jumped on Phil Jones's back and wagon and uh, worn a tie this year. We're looking pretty smart, if I uh, you know, say so myself. Obviously, Mike. Oh, yeah. 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 Not a good start for a new Next, next season's gonna, apparently going to be the beach theme. Oh, the yeah. 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 Chuck's on me. Um, so yeah, I'd just like to thank uh, the boys from Warwick again for coming all the way across, which is uh, should we clap nice ourselves? We'll clap ourselves. <laughs> Who's, who's that? Amazing. What? Yeah. Who? Um, and then, you know, a few first time attendees of the event. Um, Owen Thomas just finished his first season. Um, and you've got Steve Reese who couldn't make it last year for being in the Republic, which is uh, so good to see him. And you've got. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> We've got Mike here, who um, is a new member for next season, so uh, it's good to see you. And I'm pretty sure Michael Boone hasn't been one of like this, throwing in a few opinions every now and again, and uh, generally be a little bit sexist, popular. like that. <laughs> <laughs> if, you could, uh, if you could do that, Richard, that'd be uh, great. Sure I might call up you to come and present some prizes okay, in, a, yeah, in a little while. while so. But not to me. Well, well I definitely no, no, no. So, um, <laughs> so on to the presentations. Um, we, we, we started the season quite early, like back in sometime in June of 2008, and it filled up pretty quickly. So we had ended up with 32 players, as usual, which is the, the maximum amount. So those who haven't joined yet, boom, uh, get your things early in because we've got four, five places left this year. So uh, it'll be quick. And um, it always kicks off with the, the Charity Shield of, which is the winner of the league from the previous year against the winner of the Cup from the year, as you would have in the Charity Shield. Oh, and this year it was the um, Tom Hatley who won the, uh, the Cup of against uh, Jack. Uh, neither of those people can be here today, so it's pretty boring. But uh, <laughs> Jack won 60-46. And uh, on request, Amford would like to yeah, yeah. Uh, collect the <laughs> yeah. oh, no, no. <laughs> The Dutch yeah, team that won the 1988 World Cup yeah. threw yeah. on their um, yeah. tour bus through Ajax, Amsterdam. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that written down on the internet? This is a source of this fact. Oh, okay. Wikipedia. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Why did you write Tom yeah. Hatton's name on it? Oh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got the wrong person? No. Right. Well, it doesn't say you <laughs> either. So <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take it with me. Then the league <laughs> kicked off. Um, so the early running this year was um, made by Di Tyke, actually. He, uh, he stormed away in the oh first month. Oh. A little bit like his, um, little bit like his <laughs> county man in Hull. And his season went a similar direction to Paul's uh, <laughs> men. So, uh, um, I would like to present you with the first match of the month award. But, um, and I'm expecting you later outside the street or the Sea Bank Hotel in Hawthorne to start singing We Are Staying Up in the same manner as um, Bill Brown. So uh, if you want to have a but always exciting uh, mug-off competitions. We have a group stages. There wasn't many, many surprises in the group stages. A lot of the favourites went through. Um, and then, 
um, we got to the final, which happens, it's a bit of a Boxing Day tradition, the final nowadays, you know, it's rather than opening, well, eating your, your turkey leftovers and stuff, you think, who's going to win the mug off? This year, it was because, between the last year's cup off winner, Tom Hatley, and um, saucer off holder, Al Strait. Unfortunately, Al Strait didn't win. So, um, Hatley was not here, but he does happen to be the semi-brother-in-law of um, Yorkshireman Liam McShearer, who must be ruining the day inviting him into the Saturday, being miles more successful. Good job, Tom, and uh, congratulations, Mr. Hatley. Gap would say the mug of three dots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you told me it was called three dots. No. Uh, <laughs> I do have um, a few more Marriage of the Month awards to hand out because there was a there was four months between the last two things I talked about. September, um, always a solid performer, Mr. John Bull. Good job. <laughs> well done. Thanks. Impressive uh, presentation. October, and because he's not here, uh, isn't getting a. Um, Curly-whirly is uh, Tom Hatley. Uh, November, Can I Jonathan Chubb. Well done. Yay. 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 I would expect to be the top of the league. And um, December, now uh, some people might be surprised at this, but I wasn't. Oh, I'm Thomas. Oh, oh. 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 Well, actually, so I won't even read it. I don't think he won it. <laughs> as well as the, uh, well, the afterwards. He didn't win the very much time with Alex. <laughs> yes. As well as the mug of, um, if, you, if you are obviously an aficionado of the, uh, the mug of competition, what you'll see is uh, if, you go, if you don't get through to the top two in your group in the mug of, you go to what's known as the saucer of, which is this is a, it's a great competition. Some, it's, some people say it's the hardest to qualify for. It's difficult to, it's difficult to target third place. Anyway. Um, and it's also the best trophy. Now, we saw a very similar lineup to last year with Phil and Sally and Je uh, Phil or Liam again. Um, but this time, Sally came through um, and, you know, we're going to have to present him with a, a saucer of, and uh, I think it will be the, uh, the best trophy ever. Um, Liam, would you? It's your trophy, you invented yeah. it, so if you'd like to come and present Sally with the. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, yeah, As nothing wrong with that. No, I was going to say, most people here haven't ever won anything. No, so, <laughs> um, so uh, as we move through the new year, January's uh, manager of the month award was Ian Richards, who uh, couldn't be here today. He's um, Ribbler. The, the Ribbler is uh, currently uh, improving his batting average, as we've discussed in previous uh, dinners, and he's apparently having a good season, but I don't think he can back that up. Any. Um, <laughs> I won February, so I'll be having a uh, kill you early in a bit, so uh, thank you for that. Well done. <laughs> Um, Elliot Cole, who uh, some of you might know, as well, but he, he's up in Leeds and he's, he's, he went to see Spurs Barcelona last night in right. the Wembley Cup, so he, he can be here today. Either, so oh. he, he so basically, you, all, all the prize winners aren't here tonight. Pretty much. <laughs> it might get We're all, all the losers. Don't it may get a little bit So, as we move past March, the league all started to take shape. We saw a, a top six emerge. There was a bit of a gap. Um, and there was uh, myself and Chantal and Christian Bold just behind um, Jack Chubb, uh, John Bowl and uh, Jonathan Chubb who were looking pretty good in a fairly, you know, in a, in a fairly tight, uh, tight, <laughs> tight league. But at the same time, we also had the cup off kick off, which happened oh. just after um, just after Christmas. But CJ does the draw, doesn't she? And um, it's, a, it's a very exciting. Religiously. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I heard that. <laughs> Hey, that's and you think you're staying at 27 West Road this evening? <laughs> <laughs> um, CJ's not going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, good point. <laughs> that's but um, it was a it was another exciting competition. A lot of the big guns got knocked out in very early rounds. But what we did see was uh, a man who's a 
He's done well in a previous season. He made it all the way to the final once again. Mr. David Curly Curley. Curly himself. Stormed his way through to the final. <coughs> and once again lost in the final, like he did two years ago. Um, bye bye. Either. To um, another person who can't be here, which is a bit annoying, is uh, Christian Bold, and I don't think he's got a good excuse either. No, but, um, he, hasn't. he has asked Saga to come and collect his trophy for him on his behalf. It's not that one. That's the thing. Yeah, lucky. Um, but you can collect it and then give it back to him to get it to, <laughs> to get it engraved shortly. But, uh, if you want to come forward and get him to the table. <laughs> if anyone doesn't get this, it's because Christian Bowles are like, <laughs> So before I get on to the big one, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the forum. Um, it's been excellent once again uh, this year, uh, you know, full of banter, sometimes um, you know, showing some of the excellent uh, humour of the League of members, sometimes a little bit worrying, depending on who you're talking about. But uh, I'd like to talk about a couple of threads um, that came up. I'd like to commend Jack, who all the way from Sydney did the uh, Thursday night in the Golden Mile sketch on oh. the <laughs> 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 I'd also like to commend Owain on uh, starting the um, Footballers as Metal slash Illnesses slash Birds uh, thread, which I thought was some of the best collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> so to be continued. And, and if I could, um, I'd like to read out some of the best Footballers as Diseases um, that we came up with. So. Uh, <laughs> I'll just read a few of them. We started with uh, Tori Andre Flu. <laughs> um, Fitz Fall. <laughs> Edwin van der Sars. <laughs> um, James Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Thrush. <laughs> Stuart Downing Syndrome. Shola <laughs> oh! <laughs> <Sola> Ami Obesity. <laughs> Hepatitis Bramble. Cesc Fabra Gastroenteritis. Thanks for setting that up and thank you everyone. So, manager of Hunt Wars April and May. Some uh, people I like. I'm, I'm pleased to have won these awards. Andrew Woodding. No. Yeah. Well done. Good job. And um, anyway, somebody probably had a pretty good May because um, I'm pretty sure he won the uh, Pretend Under 11's uh, trophy. For, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of things. So, uh, well done, Alex Clark. So at the end of the league, our, our treasured Woods and Spoon Award actually went to the fantastically named Jermaine Gerard, um, who uh, didn't, didn't get involved. <laughs> that is actually his name, Alex. <laughs> but uh, because, because he's not going to be here, and he will be not be playing in the league next season, because the out, I'm going to give, him to, give the Wooden Spoons the second worst player in the league, um, with a miserable 1,513 points, Saga Patel. <laughs> so, um, I would like to um, congratulate uh, Owen oh, Thomas for uh, actually managing his team and winning Best New Year. With a position of oh, 26. <laughs> Um, we've got, uh, um, well, dropping off the pace of the six I mentioned earlier, Chantal, myself, and Christian Bowles sort of, sort of pulled away from the top three um, in, in the last couple of, couple of weeks, um, which left us with um, Jonathan, John, and Jack uh, as, the, uh, as the top three in the league. Third place, finally toppled, was Jack Chubb, so I think there's a massive round of applause going there. <laughs> Not here this year, so it's quite good that we can all tell him he's crap and he's not allowed to be here. It was obviously luck up to that point. Um, second place came to the self-proclaimed greatest manager never to win a trophy. Uh, that's Jonathan Chubb, so uh, I'm lucky once again. <laughs> But um, what was the bribe? 
surprise me. But you'll, you know, <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna go down in history until you start turning into silverware. Like, you know, look at Sally. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, and this season's winner. He's, he's one of the nice guys of uh, fantasy football. He's never involved in controversy. You know, he's a... Uh, not yet. John one. The guys that you know, the team get down, work hard. They're, they're not, they're, you know, a little bit like Everton. They're not like, uh, they're not show offs. They don't care for anything bad. But um, it's, it's a uh, manager of the Red Bulls. Last season's mug off winner, and this season Sunday holiday league off winner, Sunday sponsored by <laughs> Canon SLR cameras. Yeah. <laughs> the winner is Mayor John Bull. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>